Welcome back. That's right. It's been a long time coming, but today you'll be playing Punch a Bunch, the game I've been developing for the past few months, for the very first time. Let's go. Hey everyone, and hey Ponte, I really hope you see this. My name is Roman, and I've been following your devlog since the very beginning. I'm super excited to play to Punch a Bunch and give you my first impressions and feedback. Before I start, I just want to say thank you so much for the incredible content that you make. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to make video games of my own, and your channel has helped inspire me to work on what I'm working on right now. But enough chit chat, let's fire up the game. Okay, sweet, we're in. Now, I play on a PS4 controller, so I went ahead and installed DS4 for Windows, um, and I think it works, so let's go ahead and let's try it. Okay, okay. Man, it feels so good to finally have it in hand. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Man, the punches are so quick. He reminds me of Baymax from that movie, uh, Big Hero 6. What you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? What you gonna do about it, buddy? Huh? What you gonna, what you gonna, what you gonna... Oh my goodness, bro, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Let me do some real testing and I'll get back to you. A few moments later. Okay, so first and foremost, this game is just beautiful. I mean, I love the 3D models, I love the lighting, I love the colors. Man, this game is just beautiful and it's so clean too. The sound effects are really good. Like, it, I'm still blown away at the fact that you made them like by yourself at home with some vegetables and stuff, bro, that's crazy. They sound so realistic. That is, if you could punch yellow marshmallows in real life. And the particle effects are really good as well. Okay, now punching in this game is very, very unique because you have to combine it with the, with the right stick. And so I can give you a breakdown of kind of the four punches that I think are, or the four general categories of punches that are possible in this game. Now, of course, you have your regular old punch, but I mean, that isn't very useful because you don't really get much power on it, as you can see. This will probably just be a basic, just like mid-range, just quick punch, but I mean, hey, it's something, right? The next is the hook, and this thing, it hurts. I feel like it does better at mid to close range, and it looks like it does a bunch of damage. The way you do it is first by like, leaning to the side of your punch, and then as you release to trigger the punch, you want to swing it to the opposite side. Next, we'll talk about the uppercut. Now, the uppercut, it is really hard to do, and I don't really think I can get much damage out of it. I've been trying, however, it's really hard to get consistent hard hits with the uppercut. It looks like it'll only be able to be used at close range. I would say the only main benefit about it is that it puts your hand in a blocking position. Like, as you swing up, it covers up your face, so maybe in a way it could be a block in which you kind of deal damage. Now, the way you do the uppercut is you want to lean to the side of your punch, and then as you release the trigger the punch, you're going to want to kind of bring your right stick downwards to the opposite side. Basically, just roll it against the bottom. Now, this next punch, I call it the slab, <laughs> because it looks like you're slapping them, however, it's really quick like a jab. It gives your arm full extension, and it's probably the best move for like spacing and keeping your distance. Now the way you do this is by leaning back as you're charging up your punch and then as you release so to punch you just want to let go of your right stick and kind of and kind of let your right stick return to neutral and then, and then automatically your arm will just swing forward. Now last but not least is the body shot and so the way you do this is you lean to the side of your punch as you do with all your punches and you're going to want to lean forward as you release. Now I did notice that as you kind of get really close range this, this thing has a bit of inconsistent hits and a lot less power. But it still is a really nice punishing move for anyone who's blocking, I'd imagine. Man, I would hate to get hit with this. Let's talk about some bugs. And trust me, there aren't many, however, there are a few that I guess if I had to nitpick that I'd probably point out. Now, for starters, whenever you charge your right fist punch, you have these like little particle effect lines that kind of get dragged towards your fist. However, the problem is whenever you charge even with your left fist, those same particles still go to the right fist. And what's even weirder is that you can even, after charging up the punch, you can even block with the right fist and you'll still get the same particle effects. I mean, that's just one thing to iron out. Now, there are also times where I'm getting a very late hitbox. So for example, if I'm really close up somebody, if I'm really close on somebody, and let's say I do like a body shot, very often my punch will miss. But as my hand returns to my body, then the hitbox is still active and it deals damage. I don't know if that's intentional. However, it is very weird and it kind of gives some inconsistent hits. I think at that range would be better if you just miss than to have this active hitbox that hits you on the way back. 
Next up, I would say is the camera. Now the camera dragging behind you, I think it's okay. However, as you approach these corners here, um, you kind of lose a lot of vision as to what's going on. But it's weird because as you go behind the dummy, the camera works as I think it should in terms of how far back it goes. However, in the front part of the arena, the camera is just way too close and I think it needs to be backed up. The last bug that isn't really a bug is just this glare effect that kind of moves around with you. Um, you can see right there that covers up the H. Um, it is a bit annoying at times, the glare effect, and so I think maybe to turn that off would be useful. Now lastly, I don't know if I call it a bug, however, I can't for the life of me figure out how to dash. Um, I don't know if you've necessarily put it into this demo, but I mean, yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to figure that out. Okay, sorry, I promise this is the very last thing. Now, whenever you spam punches, you get fatigued really, really quickly. However, you can still hit pretty heavy shots one after the other almost infinitely with no signs of fatigue. I think you're probably going to want to nerf this. Now, I saw a lot of comments in your video like, about people being very salty because they couldn't play on keyboard. And I was thinking and trying to figure out a way that you could play on keyboard. I couldn't find any application that could sync up the game with the keyboard and kind of run it through DS4 Windows. But I do have some ideas that could make keyboard and mouse viable for this game. Now, of course, first, I think the right stick would have to be handled by the mouse so that the player can still have much control over their leaning. And of course, moving is done by W, A, S, and D. But the problem here is when you come upon blocking and punching. Since on controller you have the option of the upper and lower triggers. The way I think you can still do this on keyboard and mouse is by having your main punching left and right be done with the left and right mouse clicks. And the way that you'd block, I'd imagine is you could probably use shift and alt or shift and spacebar, just because those are the most comfortable keys you can hold besides W, S, and D. Or you could maybe bind it to the extra buttons that people have on their gaming mice. For example, on my mouse, I have two extra buttons right here that could be used for blocking. Now, lastly, my personal thoughts. Now, I think this game is so unique in the fact that it combines the punching with the aspect of leaning side to side with the right stick. It does take some time to get used to, however, once you connect, there's something so good about the feeling whenever you connect. It's also a very nice snappy feeling whenever you release a punch too. Now, with Punch Punch being a very heavy physics and mechanics based game, it reminds me a lot of Rocket League. Now, I have over a thousand hours in Rocket League and the reason why I love that game is just the aspect of like feeling in control. Because when you understand the mechanics and you have a lot of muscle memory, then things just feel intuitive and you feel like you can just do anything that you can imagine. I'm getting those same kind of vibes from Punch a Bunch. Having to lean side to side of each punch really changes up the dynamic. And so each punch is 100% intentional and it has a really good feel for the mechanics. Another thing I love about Rocket League is a really high skill ceiling in the sense of like, the only way to be the best in this game is to be close to perfect. And I think having a game, even like boxing, where your goal is to try and play as perfectly as you can, I think it's just a great representation of what boxing could be like in a video game. Now the ideal way to hold the controller, I think may be like this, just for the sake of you don't have to move your fingers up and down, because the punching while blocking is probably gonna be a very integral part of this game. Since you can essentially hold up one fist at the same time charging up a full power punch with the other one, you're probably going to want to have up your guard at all times and still you can keep swinging. And that's going to be it for my review of the demo of Punch a Bunch. I think the game feels awesome and it has a great head on its shoulders. I love the colors and the look and the feel. It's just really good and I think over time a lot of people will like this game. Ponzi, it's crazy to think that you did all this by yourself. I'm still crazy impressed and all I can say is just keep going, man. I'll put a link to his channel down below and remember to go and wishlist the game on Steam right now. But wait, before you go, I want to say something very important. Now, like I said, my name is Roman, and my friend and I started Hero last year because we want to prove something. We want to prove that we can have success and that we can achieve our goals despite the obstacles or the circumstances. I feel like it's too often that we see success on TV or on social media without actually taking action to have it for ourselves. Hero is about challenging yourself, going outside of your comfort zone, and doing the thing that you've always dreamed of. At the same time, being a positive and uniting force to everyone that you can reach. And that's why I think Ponty is a great example of what Hero is all about. On this channel, I'll be challenging myself to achieve the goals that I've had for a very long time. For example, to learn a new language, to build an app, or to start my own business. If any of that interests you, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you're more of a gaming type, don't worry, we also have a gaming channel. It's linked right there. But anyways, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please punch a bunch of like button. And remember, don't wait for a hero. Go be one. Peace.